Oh yeah, so this is the third video or well, in sample three from um, the second lesson, I think. Yeah, about three four. So particles projecting vertically upward from a point are over the speed u. The greatest height reached above the reach by the particle is 62 meters above where it's fired from. Right, so that thing there about the greatest height. I know that V is zero because when it gets there, it's stopped. So I've got, I've got something. Um, so I've got something which is projected upwards. So up is my positive. So gravity is negative. Uh, right. And my supper is going to assume it's from the ground. And that's what you'll need to tell us, does it? Right, so let's have a look at part F. So S. It's going to be 62.5 meters. It's going in the direction of travel of 62.5, so it's positive. U is what I want to find out. V, because I'm at the top, is zero. My acceleration, because it's acting in the opposite direction, is minus 9.8. Uh, T, not fussed about. So I'm going to use V squared equals U squared plus 2as. Uh, so naught squared is u squared plus 2, lots of minus 9.8 uh, times 62.5. Right, so that's going to give me, if I move all that over to the other side, it'll give me 1, 2, 2, 5 u squared. And then if I square root it, I'll get 35. Is that dead on 35? <laughs> so I'm looking at the calculator because I'm going to have to complete it back, is it? Yeah, dead on 35. And that's fine now because it's at the right degree of accuracy. So 2 sig B. B. Right. So the total time for which the particle is 50 meters or more above. So think about what happens. I fire it up. That's where 50 meters high is. It goes up to 62.5, comes back down and lands. So if I find the times for 50 meters, then the time in between is fine. That's what I want. So if I set S as 50 meters, U I know now is 35. V, not got a clue about. A, Minus 9.8 is second square. So I don't know V because I don't know V when it's at 50 meters. Uh, T is what I want. So I'm suspecting I'm going to get a quadratic that I'll have to solve and then just see the difference between the two values. Uh, what I've got S equals U T plus a half A T squared. So 50 is 35 T plus a half lots of minus 9.8 t squared. So 50 is 35t minus 4.9 t squared. Take it all over to make it easier. So 4.9 t squared minus 35t plus 50 is zero. Put that in poly. Um, poly gives us t is 1.974 or t is 5.168. So at 1.974 seconds, it initially hits 50 meters, and then it goes above, and then by 5.68, it hits 50 meters again. So it's time above 50 meters has to be the 5.68 minus the 1.97. Uh, what's that? Oh, it's 5.168. Right. Hang on. Sorry. So 5.168 minus 1.974, which gives us roughly 3.2 seconds. There we go. There's a question for you. Please do the question for you. There. 
And there's another example. Right, it's quite a big example, this one, so I'm just going to put it in its own little bit. Okay. Uh, 